In this video, we're going to be talking about deploying to workgroups with Viper Enterprise 4.0. Just like with the main deployment that starts at the site level, you can navigate to your deployment credentials, except this time, when we enter in credentials, we're going to make sure that our individual machine's name is specified under domain, along with its user account and its password. Once we've verified that, we can add multiple machines onto the remote credentials section by adding, editing, or removing them. Now, the local impersonation credentials is different. This is a user account which allows the Viper site service to run under an account with network permissions. For example, we created a Viper account here locally that we're going to be putting in this field. And we'll click Apply and then OK to approve this account. Let's talk a little bit more about that Viper Site Service local impersonation account. What that account is doing is allowing the VSS to run under an account that is allowed to access the network. It's basically the equivalent of giving the VSS a run as permission. To create this account, we first go to local users and group and choose users. We right click, go to a new user, and name the user account something of our choosing, like Viper account. We'll then give it an appropriate password for our network policies and then we'll uncheck users must change password at next logon and change the password to never expire and then just create it. We'll click close and the account is then created. At that point we want to make sure we go back to the console and in the console we're going to check to make sure that the Viper site service is set to use that account for its local impersonation when deploying to workgroups. The local impersonation account will only be deployed with workgroups so you can make sure that it's correct here and there. Enter in the password again if you like. But regardless, just click OK, and you can deploy as normal by right-clicking and selecting Add Agent. Feel free to ask any questions about this process to support at sunbeltsoftware.com.